Let me spin you a tale, young one. A tale of a world where anything is possible, and the only limit is your imagination. From hidden villages that lie within massive mist-shrouded mountains, to a noble kingdom of light centered amongst sprawling verdant plains. From a sprawling metropolis filled with the latest technology and inventions, to a primal and savage wilderness where pure instinct is the difference between surviving or dying. Does this sound intriguing enough? Welcome to Wraith, the world of flesh and blood. It is here that all stories begin and end, where heroes are born, and where legends are made. Each region is as nuanced as the next, with its own vibrant culture, characters, and mysteries to discover. In this video series, I will walk you through the world as a whole, explaining the origins of Wraith, each of its regions, and some of the most important information relevant to the overall story of Flesh and Blood. So, without further ado, let's look back at where it all began. Long ago, humans travelled from a distant land in search of a new home. They found the shores of Wraith, a world full of massive mountains and deep valleys, savage jungles and sweeping plains. The lands were fueled by magic, its essence permeating from the surroundings themselves. But the world was not empty. Incredible beings beyond imagination roamed the land. But they soon disappeared as humans overtook the land, changing the land around them to suit their needs. Many of these humans innovated and created technology whilst others harness the world's innate magic. During the Third Age, the world was engulfed in war. Humans formed an alliance with the mighty ancients, powerful beings made of the very land itself. Wraith was under attack from the Old Ones, and this new alliance stood as the protectors of the world. Although the battle was long, it culminated in the ancients sacrificing themselves in a final attempt to save all of Wraith. This sacrifice was not in vain, and the invasion by the Old Ones was pushed back. As Wraith moved into the current age known as the Age of Man, the wars of yesteryear became fable and legend, but the essence of the ancients still lingers. However, the Old Ones threatened to return to the world once more, and heroes old and new are beginning to rise up and protect their homeland from destruction. Many of the denizens of Wraith have honed and perfected their skills in various ways, some to protect themselves and their loved ones others to attack those they despise, and some as a way to improve their quality of life. Some of the professions that can be found on Wraith include the following. Warriors. Tactical fighters who have perfected the blend between strength and strategy. These individuals are extremely proficient with both weaponry and armour. Guardians, staunch protectors of land and people. Some of both the strongest and sturdiest, these heroes are capable of landing powerful blows as well as enduring them. Brutes, 
reckless rampages that sacrifice their own safety for devastating bloodlust. To engage with these savages in close combat is nothing short of a death wish. Ninjas, masters of the physical arts. Their sharp cunning, unparalleled speed, and deadly precision is a testament to their years of meditation and training. Rangers, hunters of prey both human and otherwise. Their arrows pick apart foes from a distance, making them both hard to hit and difficult to avoid. Mechanologists, inventors and tinkerers that create mystical machines and gadgets. Their creations are almost as dangerous to themselves as they are to their adversaries. Wizards, masters of mind and magic. Their unique ability to manipulate Aether makes them incredibly formidable both on and off the battlefield. Runeblades, fighters capable of combining both raw strength and magic into one package. Aether supplements their physical combat to ensure they can defeat any opponent they face. Illusionists, crafters capable of bringing stories of myth and legend to life. Weaving Aether into tangible forms, all but the strongest fall to their illusions. Assassins, deadly contractors capable of killing their targets with extreme precision. Relying on a toolbox of techniques, they stalk their prey, waiting for the perfect moment to strike. Merchants, connoisseurs of both trade and coin. What they lack in physical strength or magic prowess, they make up for with cunning deals weighted in their favor. Shapeshifters, mysterious individuals of curious magic. Their unique ability to change their form at will is as powerful as it is rare. There are many more professions amongst the people of Wraith, each with their own unique method of dealing with the ever-growing conflict of the world. Who knows what heroes will rise up to protect their way of life in the future. Permeating throughout all of Wraith is a mysterious energy known as Aether. This energy is still yet to be fully understood by scholars and mages, but it is the basis of all magic and spells cast within the world. To be able to cast a spell, an individual is required to have Aether Affinity, the ability to shape and manipulate Aether to the user's will. It is not known how an individual gains Aether Affinity, but it is often seen as hereditary throughout bloodlines. There are exceptions to this rule, however, as some who are born into families in possession of such a trait are born without it. Likewise, some born into families with no known history of Aether Affinity are the first in their bloodline to possess it. Now that we understand the origins of Wraith, let us take a look at each of the regions that make up the world of flesh and blood. Within Wraith are various regions that comprise the vast majority of the population. There are eight major regions in total, each with their own unique culture, people, flora and fauna, and legends. These regions are as follows. Solana. The Demonastery. Metrics. The Pits, The Savage Lands, Mysteria, Aria, and Volkor. In following videos, we will explore each of these regions individually, discussing their cultures, defining locations, mysteries, and much more. Until then, stay curious.